Hello my friend and welcome back to my channel. We reached the 70,000 subscribers and I'm just, wow, I'm shocked and happy and amazed and speechless and everything right now is going on. I'm so grateful, so thankful. I'm so happy that you watch my videos, that you like them, that you have the feeling that you can learn something, that they are entertaining, educating, etc. And um, I want to look today at the Philippines. I am planning to go next year to the Philippines, but because I want to work with an organization there that helps against child trafficking. In my, in my uh, comment section I posted that I want to go next year to the Philippines and I want to go to the Philippines, but I'm not going to have holidays there. Uh, I want to go there to help against child trafficking in the Philippines. This is a very important topic for me. I uh, found an organization that I'm current I found an organization and I want to collaborate with them and I want to do something and I want to just help. That's for me super important. I think having 70,000 subscribers and viewers means a responsibility and I see myself as a teacher, as an educator, as someone that want to help. That's what I, that's my mission in life. I don't see myself as a singer entertainer, I see it as someone that want to teach and help. And I think having the subscribers and having those views, that means having responsibility to help. Child trafficking, I think child, child trafficking is a topic for everyone and that this cannot be ignored. And unfortunately it's too much ignored and still in the dark and people don't want to speak about it. But um, I want to prevent and work against it, this and I want to look at how we can spread awareness and how we can uh, collaborate with this organization yeah, to spread awareness and help the children and give some money and just do something that's really really important. So that is my, my number one mission actually um, because I'm not a big fan of going in countries, to in Asian countries to uh, have holidays there because it's hard for me to go in those countries and kind of kind of exploit them, you know what I mean? Because um, I don't like going in those Asian countries. It's just you, you see so much, so much poorness and you see so much... Uh, it's hard. I don't know how to describe it, you know? Um, I'm just not the typical tourist who likes to go in a country and I'm, I'm sitting there somewhere in my my resort and stuff like that. I'm not that, I'm not that kind of person. I'm a really down, cool to earth person and I like to be in the middle of the jungle with people and I don't want to be in a, in a resort and being pampered 24 hours and then I go out of the resort and then just I got smashed by reality and that is the reality of some of those countries like Thailand and, and, and Vietnam and they are just, yeah, somehow these are countries that are still being exploited by other countries um, and still being robbed and yeah, so that is I cannot go like this just and have my fun it's, uh, for me at least it's not working Okay, but I still want to look today at the best places in the Philippines. Of course, I'm super curious where my, my subscribers are from. And I would really love to see the best top travel paradise places. Um, yeah, let's look at this. Top 10 presents Philippines. That looks pretty cool. It's really, really beautiful. That's more of a resort thing. Well, let's see. Tubata Rees Natural Park. I'm really afraid of the water, so scuba diving is not my thing. <laughs> Looks very beautiful with those corals. I would really love to see them, but I'm just too afraid. One time I jumped off a boat and I was afraid of the deep, deep dark water. That's not mine. It's 
Le Gatsby. Le Gatsby City. That looks really amazing. Wow. This is a stunning view. Wow, well, that is crazy. What is that for a mountain? Le Gatsby City. Looks really beautiful with the mountain and the lights. El Nido Philippines, this is cool. Wow, this is just an amazing picture. Puerto Galera. So let me know from which kind, from which place you are. So if you're from the Philippines, please write down from where you are in the Philippines and recommend me something where I can go to travel and see the Philippines. And would you let me know in the comment section? I'm super keen to know. Okay, so that is the Puerto Galera is the most famous beach. history and culture. I'm a total history geek like my whole family. Built by the Spanish in the 16th century. Number one, oh my god, Mascara Festival. That looks so good.
Is it like a carnival? Because I mean, it looks like a carnival to me, but does it have like a deeper meaning or is there something historical behind it? Or maybe you let me know in the comment section. Um, what is what is it with, with, that, with that mascara? Mas or, or mascara? Um. Okay, let me know in the comment section for me to look like to a proper video. So please give me a suggestion. And if there is already the same suggestion, please write it down under this comment so it will be not five times the same suggestion. So maybe we can make it like kind of organized. And I'm super excited to really look to all of the suggestions because I really want to know what I can see next year in the Philippines when I go there to see you guys. And yeah, it looks very beautiful. I really want to see culture and city. That one beach looked very nice too. Um, I think that was like top two or to a pre or something that I really enjoyed that beach I cannot spell it right now but that looked very good so I love, I love, to, dive, I love to dive in culture <laughs> in history um, okay so let me know if you liked that video um, I think you would suggest me another video as well because I looked at some of them and some of them were just too much talking and too much mm, I want to see a little bit more okay yeah let me know what to see next and guys 70,000 Okay, I hope I see you in my next video. Stay happy and healthy and hydrated and just happy, my friends. Okay, bye-bye.